Hey folks, it's Anders, Communications Director for DeSantis Watch, back with your weekly update on what America's most anti-First Amendment governor has been up to. Last week, Natasha told you about how Ron DeSantis had banned advanced placement African American studies as a choice for students in our schools. But that was just another step in his anti-First Amendment public education agenda. Last fall, a federal judge put his Stop Learning Act on hold, calling it positively dystopian in the ways that it violated our First Amendment protections. Not only that, a bill that he signed last year is having its intended effect by making it easier to ban books throughout the state. Just in the last week, we learned that teachers in Manatee County were removing their classroom libraries because they were worried about being prosecuted for a third degree felony for providing books to students. We also learned that Pinellas County has banned a book by Pulitzer Prize winning author, Toni Morrison. Every student in our state deserves the opportunity to learn about an honest history of our country, and every parent deserves the choice to make the best decisions for their child's future. Here at DeSantis Watch, we're going to continue to fight for the First Amendment. We're going to fight for communities that have been under attack under Ron DeSantis, and we hope that you will join us. Become a part of the movement at DeSantisWatch.org.